Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 32. This week I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of describing something that I've been working on, this week I'll be describing a project that Guy Viner from Israel has been working on. He's been using the camera axe in a very cool way. I think this is one of the coolest uses I've seen of the camera axe. I hope people can take inspiration from Guy's great work. So what could this line of photographers be doing? Well, the idea was pretty simple. Get together a large group of photographers to create a matrix style bullet time effect. That's the effect that you see in uh, the Matrix movie where they freeze time and then pan our camera around uh, the frozen event. Actually getting decent revolts took a good deal of planning and paying attention to the details. First off, when everybody arrived, Guy told them exactly what focal length, ISO, white balance, and aperture to use. Then he helped everyone set up their tripods using a piece of string to make sure that everything would be level. He put a ping pong ball, which looks the same from all angles, into the scene to help align the pictures in post. Then everybody got their cameras focused and put focus into manual so that they wouldn't be trying to refocus later when the room was dark. Next, a few test shots were taken using two Nikon SB900s for lighting on a stationary target. This helped make sure that everybody had good settings. The camera axe was being used with the microphone sensor, so instead of telling everyone to activate their shutters on the real shot, they wanted to use something that didn't make any noise, so they came up with a simple light signal that everybody was watching for, and when it happened, they activated their cameras. Then, when Guy heard all of the shutters being activated, he popped the water balloon. The camera axe picked up the sound from the popping balloon and triggered the flashes. They did this a few times with different types of images, and then they started collecting all of the photos from the camera and they came up with a numbering scheme so that they knew exactly which photos came from which camera and the position that each camera was in the line of cameras so that they could reassemble the images in the correct order later. Even with all of these precautions, post took a long time. White balance ended up being a little bit different on all the cameras so it needed to be corrected. While aligning the photos with a ping pong ball helped a lot, it still took a lot of time to do this alignment. Rotary Image has been helping Guy with some of the post-processing. Here are some of the results. They look pretty amazing. What I'd love to see is others in the Camera X community trying to do something like this. Get together with a photo mob and do some high speed shots. If anybody has a suggestion about tools that would help with post-processing, let us know. Personally, I think that Lightroom could probably help with auto exposure and white balance matching, but I'm not aware of any software that would do the uh, alignment automatically. So if anybody's got ideas on how to position ping pong balls or something else to help align the scene in a way that would let some kind of a software tool do the alignment for you, that would be much appreciated. Well, I hope this got the creative juices flowing and I hope others try out similar type of photography with their camera acts. Thanks for watching.